You participated in a plenary session here at the JASDA Summit today uh, that discussed a very important topic, neural rights. Do you think people and diplomats know exactly what is neural right? Uh, what for you is the key message from the session? Well, I hope they know more after our session. Um, but uh, yes, I think they do, because this is a topic that has gained a lot of traction in the last few years with many countries legislating on this topic and even intergovernmental organizations trying to uh, produce new guidance on, on this topic. So new rights can be defined as the a subset of human rights that is concerned with the protection of the human brain and mind. And uh, it should be noted that human right, uh, neural rights are both positive and negative, negative rights. So it's not just about uh, protecting people from the misuse of neuroscience and neurotechnology, but it's also about using neuroscience and neurotechnology uh, in a manner that empowers people and improves human well-being. Precisely, your session discussed uh, how neurotechnologies, for example, can restore memories, for example, which is a very positive outcome. But neurotechnologies also have uh, raised many ethical questions. What can we put into the brain? What we cannot put into the brain? Where do we draw the line? How do you think the JESDA initiative can be useful to bring this very important ethical question to the forefront. Yes, you are absolutely right. So the fundamental question here is what rights are people entitled to exercise in relation to their brains and minds? And this will require some work also in terms of diplomacy and governance. Uh, because one question that has been debated in our community is whether neural rights should be considered as brand new rights. So it's not just uh, an evolutionary interpretation of the rights we have, uh, but possibly we should consider to add new rights to our current international treaties and conventions. That's why JESTA could play a pivotal role in establishing an international platform, uh, not just for international dialogue and deliberation on this topic, but also uh, as a tool, as a platform to innovate and advance diplomacy, which is one of the core missions of JESTA, because in order to produce this innovation in, in, uh, in governance that probably neural rights will require, we also need to innovate, innovate the way we do diplomacy.